Hello, hello everyone. Here's another video and another effect that I want to share with you. And this time we're going to create something like this. An animated globe with the light shining on it from the top left corner and the shadow on the other side. And we can customize a number of properties in here. So that's something we're going to create in this video here, an animated globe. Okay. Right. I've already imported this image. This is actually an image called Globe Sphere. It's just an image. It's just a JPEG. You have it in. You can download it, or you can use any image of a map. Right. That's all we need. Just an image of a map. Something like that. Okay. Now uh, we're going to make a new comp from this image. So make a new comp from this image here. It's really cool because this is just an image and yet we'll make it animated. It's really cool. Okay, now the effect we're looking for is called CC Sphere effect. So the effect we're looking for here is a CC Sphere effect. So I'm going to go to Effects Panel. I'll just type in SPH and we have the CC Sphere under Perspective. <coughs> so you can just go Effect, Perspective. Now mine is grayed out. As you know, because the layer isn't selected. So I select the layer and go Effect, Perspective, and CC Sphere in here. Okay. This is going to create this, like uh, this by default. There's no animation yet here. It's just an uh, image wrapped around the sphere. But now we're going to do all the magic in the Effect Controls panel here. So go to Radius, where you could make this globe bigger or smaller. So say I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, maybe. You can also offset it. By default, it's always going to be in the center of the comp. But you could offset it if you wanted to. I'm going to leave it in the center, so I'm going to undo. We'll go to, we want a full render. Yes, in here, OK. Now we can also customize the light. So we've got the light intensity. You can make it more intense or less intense. I think I'm going to leave it 100%. It was just fine. <coughs> you could change the light color. We can also change the line light height. So I'm going to reduce the value here a little bit. I actually want to change direction as well. I want it to be, say, top left corner, for example. And light height a little bit less. So we have about half of the Earth in the shadow, yes, and I want this to be darker as well, so in the shading section here we could adjust the ambient, so you can make this lighter or darker, so I want this to be darker, maybe even like this, looks like the moon, <laughs> so keep it, this was, I think it was 10 by default, so if we take it down a bit, just to make it darker, it's so about 7 maybe, or 6, there we go, we got the fuse here as well, on the lighter part, which I'm going to keep. You could even add specular light in here, specular shine in, in this side here, which I don't want, so I'm going to leave it in here. <coughs> and you can adjust the roughness as well, so you could do like say maybe a bit higher, so be a bit more roughness in this section here, and the metal will make this softer. Okay, going to leave it as it is. And now we want to animate it, of course. So we'll go to the top, we could rotation, and I want to animate the rotation. I want to animate it on the Y axis because I wanted to do this, rotate like that. Okay. So I'm going to keep the playhead at the beginning, set a keyframe for rotation Y, okay, and go all the way to the end with the end key and say I'm going to give it just one full rotation to make it rotate quite slowly so if I play it it's just slowly rotating with the shadow in here and that's something really cool that I wanted to show with you in this video here for this really nice globe sphere animation with our earth spin around and all we used was just an image just a jpeg image and we made it into an animated uh, globe 
So enjoy, have a fun, explore.